In the story of the Earl King, there are five principal characters. The first that you hear is the galloping horse on which the father is riding through the night, through the forest, holding his child. And this continues in one way or another through the entire piece, and it's also accompanied by this galloping figure in the bass. The essence of this piece is the desperate attempt of the child to tell his father that something is wrong. And what's wrong is that the Earl King is courting him, trying to seduce him, trying to steal him away. When the Earl King comes in, it suddenly shifts to this sort of circus music. <laughs> And it becomes this very suggestive thing. And that's when the Earl King's voice comes. And you can't mistake this on the Wurlitzer. I used this uh, stop that's literally called vox humana, human voice. And when the child cries out to the father, I use a distinctive high voice that's very plaintive. It's hard to miss that this is the child. <coughs> Finally, as this dialogue continues and becomes more intense, you will hear the child finally scream that the Earl King has hurt me. And the Earl King, in his last statement, says, if you will not come with me, I will use force. And the entire organ roars out. And then the crushing last line, and the thing that never fails to send absolute chills up my spine, and I hope yours, is that last line when that narrator finally comes back. He says, in seinen Armen das Kind war tot. In his arms, in the father's arms, the child was dead. Thank you.